Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 2 of Starfield, right where we left off. We're going to go ahead and start on our mission. We're going to go back to Vectera and continue on from there. So without further ado, let's get started. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. Another day? Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Oh, the United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Crew accounted for. We are ready to depart.
tangled with that spacesuit. One serious puncture, and you're done. It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has well, clearly washed its hands of this operation. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways. But no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up. And both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
get anywhere. Wanna try fixing that computer? Go ahead. I'm packing up, Dusty. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. If you need any more, feel free to scavenge around. Only managed to scrounge up one so far. I'm sure there's more around.
end of this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital B, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and... I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Lift off when you are, Captain.
I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah. Nah, I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. Barrett was all, sorry, brother, I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns, Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him. Then they were all gone. Yeah, you know, you're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me, laying here, half conscious, real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good... <clears throat> space to have a listen here you go hey uh, uh i should come with you right i don't think anyone else is coming yeah just uh don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while uh, give me a minute i think the worst of it is yeah I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. Say that. 
For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Surviving being attacked, causing trouble. Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. I warm up the engines. Hey, it's going. Good to see you.
Start getting out there, the laws of physics. Holy shit. You actually found me. I wish I could say this is the first time this has happened with Barrett. But, well, it isn't. Well, this is turning into a regular Constellation party, isn't it? I should have bought drinks. Matsur the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists. Being captured by Sistef myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. A real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? He has been more entertaining than most hostages. Nobody wants that. He does seem to be unusually skilled in that area. Barrett has some good friends, it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. It's been a real pleasure, Matsur. Really. And good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money.
I'm going to watch our six. Last thing we want is to be ambushed by pirates while we're here. There's something I'd like to discuss. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? Maybe, but I'd appreciate it if you'd hear me out. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Oh my goodness. That must have been terrifying. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science, well, simply fails. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Is there? After spending years gathering data about the artifacts, you'd think I'd have all the answers. Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Oh, no, not at all. There's so much going on there, I can't afford to divert all of our resources. But I have classified the artifacts as a priority project. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. 
I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Barrett, you were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than you. usual. Which it's is been ages decided. since Constellation has had someone new. Don't start. I wonder what he's like. Wait. Just go easy on is that? Being interrogated <laughs> by a kid. And to exactly think the first artifact was taking up dust on the light. I am at your service, Captain. Now look at them all. This does not bode well. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So, hey, I I'm still not 100%, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around? help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe. It doesn't really matter to me. We never get too attached to ships. After the fifth or sixth time, one blows up and you get marooned. The romance fades. Plus, the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. Marvelous. Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Feel Focus. free to help yourself no at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did... Yeah. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. Good teachers are like supernovae. Brilliant auras of light that turn dust into stars. A <laughs> compliment from little Cora. Well, it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Three Star Collective, and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. I know, it's dangerous. That's why I needed backup for this one. But don't let the old children's tales about the Ashta get to you. The real thing is way worse. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Got my attention, Captain. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available.
explain why. But I do. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. You I might want you? this. How are you, Dusty? I'm thinking next time we're in New Atlantis, we are overdue. I got the playoff game recorded. I can grab some chunks. It was a hell of... No, 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 no spoilers, Jesus. I've stopped watching SSNN because I don't want to know who won. that game soon before I go crazy. Collective space. Hold while we scan your ship. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. We're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail until this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co., first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go.
Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. You're handling this whole captain thing really well. Got a Fraser, Captain. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. The Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move this situation along. Stay where I can see you, Marshal. Everyone stays in front of the building, you got me? If you make a move toward the building, a hot... Kiva City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Coe. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. I'm glad I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. It might come to that, but first I just want you to talk to them. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see got a little excited and don't try hands. nothing. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Jed. Jed Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Well, I 
scrapes than this we can handle being stuck in a bank nothing you say is gonna change my mind so let's just move on we want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship Drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? What, you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! Oh, hell, the Free Star Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. gets hurt, we won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives. Damn it! I didn't think of it that way. If the hostages died, it'll be the Marshal's fault for not taking us seriously. Nah. It's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. I really don't know how this is gonna end. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. Yeah, you're right. You gave those boys a chance, but now they have to lie in the bed they made. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, They'll see us coming. What do you want? Credits? Fine, if that's what it takes to end this. I'll do it. But those credits better buy me a guarantee. That the hostages will come out safe and unharmed. Maybe uh, help the people first, and then talk about a reward? Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. And once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. figure those bank robbers can hold out much longer. What the marshal say? We have a deal? I guess that'd be all right. I'm gonna need to ditch that weapon first. Ain't no way I'm letting you in here armed.
Fine, but make it quick. Make a fair point. Well, my word's gonna have to be good enough. That's true. If you tried something, we'd take you out real quick. You ain't telling me anything I don't already know. I'm done talking about this. You've got my answer, and it's final. Now go tell the marshal that I want my goddamn ship! Something's up there. Somewhere. A mirror wolf at the law house. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? Is that so? Shame it had to come to that. But you got the job done and saved lives. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Well done. Still feels a little weird though. Guess I'm not used to having the. And now. <laughs> 
That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. Thank you for saving me. I've had quite enough excitement for now. has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. That we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. Yeah, well, I don't gotta say it. I know, it's just... It's personal. <sighs> All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh, co-tradition. All right, shall we? Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay. This was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. You dragged yourself into this when you stepped into my house without so much as an invitation. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options.
No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The less time she spends with Jacob, the better. Damn it. Fine, fine, fine. But we'll go get her. I just, if there's any other options, I'd appreciate doing those first. Hi, how you doing? Sam's Constellation Lackey here to bother me again? Yeah, that's right. I'm not leaving until I get what I came for. Store security. Hold it right there. You're under arrest. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. Drunk and disorderly is our number. Stop, wouldn't be the Caribbean system. 
folk prefer the jetpack. Waste not, need not.
Cora was big into rock collecting when she was eight. Not so much anymore. Let's get going. Smugglers use caves like this everywhere. Sometimes you get lucky and find the damnedest things around. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Sam Co in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So... I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really.
Oh, really? Let's hear it. You got past a few rookies, that's all. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. Always good to know someone who can keep their mouth shut. I never said I was done talking. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. I think that's far enough. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Sam, now you got past my crew. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Now, let's talk about it. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. Always good to know someone who can keep their mouth shut. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I haven't agreed to anything yet. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! Cute. Real cute. Pumping, huh?
I defend your service, Captain. Just why are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be predicting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime. But you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with... That means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. A brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. Well, I suppose that... You see that scientist out in front of Mast? Staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? There's a code there. Get him, boys.
likes throwing stones into the pond. She did. God, that was ages ago. Saw your ship coming. Nice ride. Welcome back to the pride and joy of the UC. Good to see Vladimir. Wonder if he's found anything. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Ah, gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. Word to the wise, don't arm wrestle him. I'm still hurting from that. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. I always preferred working alone, even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. She's as tough as they come. But happy to lend a hand if needed. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Show the words another time, then. I bet Cora's already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl. Her ship is way down in the back.
gekregen. Hè?
tell Cora we're back. Do you need me for something? Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating? It takes an insane amount of resources to keep the settled systems going, so places like this are never going away. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. Well, I guess making sure you were all right was a bit of an overreaction, judging by the dead body and all. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground. Instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
Time to change them. This feels like old times. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless, Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> ...risk. We both seem to be... ...unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... ...the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... ...Varun Zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Hmm? 
Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. I'm pretty used to the little ship. I am, Dad. I want to be as good a co-pilot for the captain as I am for you. Well, you're doing a... Talk. Hey, good to see you. Andresia, thank goodness. We were worried. Why? I'm Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. 
Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Another realist has joined our ranks. I'm outnumbered. The truth hurts, Mateo. And Mateo ropes us into another round of philosophy. Can't we agree both are important? You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. Yes. So am I. Let me know if you need me. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. The quarters available to you. Succeeded. Just like that, I think that would be a good place to end it for episode two. We will be back very soon with episode three. If you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you shortly. Later.